Hey, I'm Ken Clark and I have rental properties in Miami, Oklahoma. And the city is very aggressive on landlords who have single family dwellings uh, that violate codes. Uh, codes for like items in the yard, um, etc. I've been subject to numerous uh, uh, violations that my renters have done over the years. But I wanted to show you a situation that I'm very interested in that goes back to a meeting with the city leadership in April uh, where I discussed on South Main, there was a basic silage yard um, on the south side of Miami on Route 66. This is it right here. If you look, it's kind of getting cleaned up, but they said it was supposed to be completely cleaned up by June 1. Most of this stuff has sat here for years, and yet nothing's really done. It's still here. It's a mess. There's a paddle boat over there. There's a van. There's an RV. This has just been a nuisance. And this is on one of our most prized possessions, Route 66, uh, here uh, in Miami. So I keep watching this, asking what's going on. It was supposed to be cleaned up in June, and maybe one or two items have left. But they really got aggressive with me, gave me 30 days to get it out. I didn't have it out in time, and so they wrote me a citation, and I was to pay $180, and I basically said, I'm not paying it. I didn't put the item there. I'm not doing it. But yet, here we are with all this mess sitting here along our beautiful Route 66, and just to the south over the bridge, are some properties that are being torn down that nothing can be done with that because of the floodplain. So my question is, if our mayor can sue our public school system because their child is not being dealt with properly, what legal recourse do I have when, as a landlord, I'm given 30 days to clean something up, I don't get it cleaned up in 30 days, I receive an invoice, and then if I don't pay it, there's a levy against me. What's the fine and what's been the, uh, the justification for allowing this to continue all those years? Seems fair and unbalanced to me. And really, well, quite frankly, I'm just tired of it. So anyway, today is, I think, July 21st. Um, and I'm just going to kind of send this to our city leadership in a text message. And if they don't have a good good response by August 1st, when this can be expected to be cleaned up, well, then maybe we need to take the next step and really push the issue and get a fair and balanced resolution uh, to this mess. Because to me, it doesn't look like anything's really done happening on any aggressive plan. So... Anyway, that's my two thoughts, and I just thought I'd share it with everybody.